Welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to a brief devotional from the Christmas story from God's Word to enhance your celebration of Jesus' birth during the 12 days of Christmas. becomes incarnate and yet remains on high. On cherubim sing anthems to shepherds from the sky. Proclaim the Savior's birth to God on high be glory and peace to all the earth. A Devotion for Saturday, December 26, 2020 A New Shepherd And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Luke 2, 8 through 12. I wonder why God chose shepherds to be Jesus' first visitors. Maybe it's because they were awake at night? But that seems too simple. Is it just because they were humble people? That would fit in well with the rest of the story. Nothing about this story was glorious, except, I suppose, the angels singing. But I keep coming back to the fact that these were shepherds, caretakers, protectors, providers. And that's one way God talks about himself in the Old Testament. He calls himself the shepherd of Israel and calls his people his flock. So what were the shepherds coming to see that night? A new shepherd, just like them? Their own new shepherd, born to protect and provide and rescue them and us both? The good shepherd, who lays down his life for God's flock on the cross, rescuing us from the power of sin and death. Our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, the God of peace who brought again from the dead, to share everlasting life with everyone who trusts in Him. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for being my shepherd. Amen. Reflect and discuss. Number 1. When have you taken care of someone or something? Of course, being a pastor, I'm a caretaker of a small portion of God's flock. But even more so, I help take care of my mother-in-law who's over 90 years old and still lives in her own house. That's quite an accomplishment on her part, but still she needs a lot of help. Number two, what kind of person makes a good caretaker? Well, of course, someone who's personable, but over and above that, someone who is very careful about the details, who makes sure that all the needs of a person are taken care of, that everything that possibly could affect them is looked out for. Number three, how does Jesus take care of you? Well, Jesus took care of me by coming to earth and fulfilling his mission to be my Savior, to redeem me from my sins, 
and ensure that I have everlasting life in his kingdom. He takes care of everything I need, literally. May the Lord bless you on this second day of Christmas. This has been a brief daily devotion provided by Lutheran Hour Ministries. We pray that this devotional will be a blessing to your day. All idols and shall perish, and Satan's lying cease. And Christ shall raise his scepter, decreeing endless peace. Proclaim the Savior's birth. To God on high be glory and peace to all the earth.